The University of Central Asia is chartered as a regional university, perhaps the first regional university in this part of the world. And it is under an international treaty signed by the presidents of uh, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan and Tajikistan, as well as His Highness the Aga Khan. A treaty which was then approved by the respective parliaments and registered with the United Nations. So what I love about UCA is that we have all the facility and we have all this modern technology that we can use for our uh, studies, like uh, lab, um, creative studio where we just go and do the creative part, you know, taking photos, videos. So we try to spend our time wisely and do something productive, although we are on campus and we try to interact with the community as well by doing different projects and working with them. Well, the Graduate School of Development was established to look at the issue of development in its multiple settings. So it is multidisciplinary. In Central Asia, apart from Kazakhstan, universities do very little research because there's simply no funding for it. And this is a problem because the society is faced with very complex problems, the answers to which are not self-evident. We have institutes that look at socio-economic problems. We have institutes that look at environmental issues, uh, hazards, climate change adaptation, agriculture, health. But we also have units that study civil society. In other words, the development of associational life in society, which is really the foundation of development and how, how people combine in communities impacts development outcomes. Today, SPC is a leading provider of post-secondary qualification in the region. From just three centers established in 2006 at the three mountainous towns of Tikali in Kazakhstan, Narin in Kyrgyzstan, and Khorog in Tajikistan, and with the few dozens of learners enrolled at the inception and in only two training programs, SPC today enjoys its presence in 12 locations with 18 centers accumulating over 180,000 learners across four countries, including Afghanistan. With nearly 600 courses and over 300 qualified staff and experts employed. We have a beautiful campus, and sometimes people get the impression that it must be expensive to study here. UCA is more affordable than most universities in the world because we have many donor-funded full scholarships. In fact, once a student is admitted, we guarantee financial assistance. Other universities offer it. We guarantee. Moreover, in other universities, students have to pay for their accommodation and meals. At UCA, because we are a residential university, dorms and meals on campus are provided. Students living and studying together create a diverse environment where there is a greater appreciation of each other's cultures and values. This campus seems to have everything that uh, you would think it needs. Uh, it's got a beautiful library, it's got great eating facilities, it's got dormitories, it's got classrooms, and everything is state of the art. Everything here is the way you would get it. In fact, in some of the uh, better universities in America, they're so old that they don't have some of the electronics that are necessary and plugs for everybody to use their, uh, their computers. This place is designed to make it easy to study. One of the things that caught my attention is how many of these students are not looking for an escape hatch. They're not looking for a ripcord. They're not here to get out. This is not their ticket out of Central Asia. They want to improve Central Asia. Their whole idea is how do I make it better? How do I bring some of the things that I know exist elsewhere in the world, some of the comforts and some of the improvements that'll make people feel more prosperous and improve their standard of living? And I think that's fascinating. So many times when you come from an isolated area, a university is your ticket out. They're not looking for a ticket out, they're looking for a ticket up.
What this university is all about is not only the power of education, but also the power of international cooperation. It is a power that can change people's lives. It is important to know that what we are doing here will be a valuable example of international cooperation for the future, not only here in the region, but also for people far beyond the world.